Hi, it's Educator Jo, and today we will be reading Sticky Beak. Written by Hazel Edwards and illustrated by Rosemary Wilson. Just for this weekend, Sticky Beak is my pet. From Monday to Friday, he lives in a box at school. Everyone at school talks a lot. So does Sticky Beak. Quack, quack, quack. We looked after three duck's eggs, but only one duck grew. It thought we were its parents. The class voted for its name. Donald had 20 votes. Fluffy had six votes. Danny had two votes. But Mrs. Papa said, Donald is a cartoon duck. Our duck is different. We'll call him Sticky Beak. On Friday, it was my turn. I took Sticky Beak home in a box. We put the seatbelt around him. What do ducks eat, asked mum. She doesn't like pets very much. Cornflakes, I said. Quack, 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 said Sticky Beak. At the supermarket, frozen duck was on special. Not this weekend, said Mum. At home, Sticky Beak quacked all the time and he messed his box too. After dinner, I put fresh newspaper and water in his box. Where's my newspaper, complained mum. I haven't read the news yet. Sorry, mum, Sticky Beak's using it. Mum didn't like it much when I gave Sticky Beak a swim in our bath. The next day, we did offer him a snail from the garden. Sticky Beak didn't like it. Snails have been eating my mail, said Mum. I thought Sticky Beak might like to be useful. But Sticky Beak was not useful. David next door has a lead for his dog. I made a lead for Sticky Beak. On Sunday, we took Sticky Beak to the Botanic Gardens. Other ducks lived there on the lake. The big ducks came to meet Sticky Beak. He ran away. In the Botanic Gardens, a wedding party was taking videos of the bride. Dragging his lead, Sticky Beak ran quacking through their video. Soon, the bride's friends and relatives will see Sticky Beak on their videos. They will hear him too. Quack, quack, quack. Mum laughed as we chased Sticky Beak through the gardens. On Sunday night, Mum tried to watch the television news. Quack, quack, quack. Sticky Beak wouldn't shut up. Mum said, I'm glad tomorrow's a school day. We didn't tell Mum that Mrs. Pappas has a pet snake too. The end. Comment down below if there are any other books you would like me to read. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.